Sniper class, you will come to attention, barked the burly instructor. He had the self-assurance of a toddler, stood, hands on hips, on the brow of a low ridge at the firing range on Cavell 7. Uh, 6, sorry. His clothes were so khaki coloured that they all... I don't want to get my Cavell mixed up. His clothes were so khaki coloured that they almost acted as camouflage against the backdrop of the dull brown sky. His uniform fluttered in the strong wind that was battering them all. The windsock, a few metres behind him, was pulled completely horizontal, but it dipped suddenly as the breeze died for just a moment before spiralling vertically as a strong breeze ripped it upwards, then back to horizontal. The wind was nuts. As ordered, the 12 young recruits snapped to attention. The instructor descended the small ridge and began walking back and forth before them, inspecting them with menace. My name is Torque Murble, and the instructor here at the Kuvail Royal Snapper Academy. You have been selected by your local cadet school because you've shown aptitude beyond the norm. However, he said, turning sharply and wagging a finger at them, what your school considers aptitude is not what I consider aptitude. What you are right now is scrub stains who couldn't hit the broad side of a herd of whooples. You shoot worse than Burflanian shock surrender troops. This caught the attention of a young man named Bodega, who began daydreaming. I heard of those fellers, he thought. My daddy told him back on our Whoople Ranch. Whoople Ranch, huh? Ever hit the broad side of one? Snapped the instructor. Sir, I didn't say nothing, pleaded Bodega, mystified. Why don't you tell me all about Burflanian shock surrender troops, since you know so much, if you will, Cadet Bodega? Well, sir, uh, 